and welcome to Knit Pug. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter, and this is a Gadget. Uh, <laughs> and it is Sunday, 31st of January, 2016, and we are episode 12. We are officially into the double digits. Um, well, I guess we have been since December. Let's just ignore that. Um, so yeah, I've gotten a lot of unpacking done. I've not gotten a lot of belts done. But there is knitting content. And there's even stash enhancements. Uh, okay. So, first things first. Like I said, welcome to Knit Puck. Um, you can find us on YouTube, iTunes, under Knit Pug. Uh, the blog, which is knitpug.com. And you can find me, Jaded Knitter on Twitter and Instagram uh, and Ravelry, all under Jaded Knitter. And then please come join our Rav group, which is Knit Pug as well. Um, so, yeah. so as you can see, we're still in the, we're in the new house. Um, and this view will change over the next couple of weeks because my furniture isn't actually where I want it to be. This sofa isn't supposed to be against this wall. <laughs> it just happens that was the most convenient place to put it with the amount of boxes that were in this room. So, bows! Um, I'm going to apologize. Last week it was the sound that was off. That was because I was using my computer, not the camera. Found the tripod. Uh, basically found the tripod as soon as I'd uploaded the episode. Figures. Um, but the color seems to be off tonight. I'm not sure what's going on because these are green and purple. There's also a lot of shadow. Um, but I'm kind of doing this a little late, mm. but yeah, so I have socks, I have two of them. Um, these are done out of the Black Lamb, uh, which is a local Ontario dyer. She's actually local to me now, um, cause she's in Southern Ontario. I picked it up at Twist, which I will be going to this year. I will be, uh, there with Janet, who's Fiberholic. Um, so if anyone wants to stop by. We will have a booth. Well, she will have a booth. I'm there to talk to people and help. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, done. Finished these on Friday. Um, they are my standard toe up with a short row heel socks with a, a cuff that was knit until I got bored. Um, so, more socks! I still have to weave in the ends. I have a basket, like my knitting basket has a bunch of socks that I still have to weave in the ends. I need to sit down and do that because it's winter. I need socks, which I'm not currently wearing. For some reason, I don't wear socks at all. I wear shoes, I just don't wear socks. Uh, so that is the... That's the faux. Uh, this is the hoe, the, well, the work in progress. Um, there we go. It is, I've gotten through all the color stripes. Um, it is uh, Regia Perfect is the name of the yarn. And so I've got this one and apparently I have one in a lighter, brownie purple as well with a light colored rainbow on it. I don't remember that but that's okay. Um, and as you can probably tell I'm actually doing a classic heel flap on this and after getting to this point I remember why I stopped doing them. These take for freaking ever. They take a whole lot longer than the short row heels but I'm not pulling it out so apparently I'm doing two of them. Um, so yeah, that's, these ones have to be done uh, top down just because of the fact that the yarn is patterned because this brown is the entire foot. Um, so these need to be started top down. And I love the way they've done this because that yellow all comes off. It's actually the leader cord. And you just kind of, you pull until you've hit, until it does the color change, cut it there and start your socks which works just fine for me. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on this week. It's, I'm sorry, it's fairly boring. It sucks. Um, it will get better though, because I am starting a new project this week, uh, which I will get into in a minute, because it's part and parcel of it is, the hell is in here? <laughs> sorry, I have a tendency to stick my finger inside uh, balls of yarn like this, and I stuck it in and there was something plastic inside. Oh, reinforcement. Some yarns actually come with reinforcements for toes and heels. Apparently this one is one of them. I did not realize that when I bought it. I was holding a shopping, I was holding a basket, so I just threw it in the basket. Um, but yeah, I'm within spitting distance. Like you look out my kitchen windows and you can see the Spinrack factory. So they have their factory outlet and um, I, I was avoiding going. I'm like this this is a bad idea this is a very very bad idea and I'm sure you can all see where this is going um, and then I was talking to my downstairs neighbor uh, who was who was kind enough um, to take gadget out for me she has her own dog and she walks him um, every afternoon after lunch um, so I had I'd been inquiring about dog walkers and she said well I'll take him out so um, and at one point she'd been up here uh, talking with me and she'd mentioned that she always wanted a hand knit sweater. So I thought, you know, fair trade of, of services, I would knit her a sweater. So that's what I'm going to do. So yesterday, Saturday, we went up to the uh, Spinrite factory outlet. Yep. It was as bad an idea as I thought it would be. It it's not as bad. Like the damage wasn't as bad as it could be. But that was mainly because I went in there with the purpose of okay, I'm going to find Rose her yarn for her pattern. Then I'll take a quick look around and see if there's anything interesting. Luckily, I did the I did that. Did the quick look around. Went oh, I need to get out of here and basically grabbed Rose and ran. <laughs> Well, paid for my stuff and ran. Um, because, yeah, that store is going to be dangerous. It's less than a five minute walk. It's slightly further than it is for me to walk to work. So, yeah. Danger, danger. Um, so this I found while, while I was looking for her yarn. Um, and it's rainbow and it's sock yarn. And as most of you can tell I can't resist that. Um, yeah, I'm sure all of you have remember the stash haul that I brought back from Janet's, uh, from her crazy dog yarns over Christmas. It's mostly rainbow. So yeah, more rainbow socks. Those will come eventually. But yeah, um, what you have to understand is this place doesn't have bags to give you your yarn in. They have grocery bags. They have, um, these are leaf waste bags is what they are. They're basically clear garbage bags. They apparently have a sale, a two week tent sale every summer where it's, I think it was buy three bags, get one free or something. And the, it's, you basically, you get a garbage bag and you can fill it with yarn and it's dirt cheap. not need more yarn. I do not need. I need to knit faster. Let's be realistic here. I need to knit faster so I actually have more room. Um, so I'm desperately trying not to go back. Um, so yeah, I got all of this fuzzy stuff. This is um, all Patton's Classic Wool um, in their roving. Uh, so it's, you know, one of those thick bulky yarns, but it's actually really soft. It's 100% wool. Um, and that was what I was looking for, for was 100% wool. And I have it in a rainbow of colors. Oh yeah, I have 13 balls of this and nine of them are different colors. Uh, but I will show you why. Um, because Rose was up here, she came up yesterday and I was, I unpacked, she was looking through my knitting books. And, um, one thing she had mentioned 
she had really liked a couple of my colorwork sweaters that she'd seen. So I had purchased this book. It's Knitting with Icelandic Wool. Um, and it's by... Vedis Jonsdotter. Vedis Jonsdotter, I think. Um, but it's a really great book and it has a lot of really fantastic patterns in it. Um, for my North American viewers, I will warn you, it is written as European patterns are written, because this is actually a translation, um, which means that there are not the size ranges that you see, like you're not gonna see the, the six, eight sizes um, that you do in North American patterns. Um, also, the patterns are not as explicit in some spots um, as North American patterns are. I don't find that a problem, um, and I know a lot of people who don't, but it is something that takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, so just as an FYI, it is a wonderful book, but it is probably not a book that a very new North American knitter wants to pick up. Um, but yeah, I just got the copy off Amazon, so it was, it says $34.50 Canadian. I'm not sure I paid that for it. Actually, at this point, it's probably more because I bought this back when the dollar was almost on par. Uh, I'm really hoping this shows up because it's really dark for me. But um, this is the sweater that I'm going to be knitting her. And it is called Andorison. It means Renaissance uh, in Icelandic. Uh, so that's the sweater. And it is... It is a multicolored, all over patterned sweater, and it's meant to be knit with uh, Lopi, uh, which is an Icelandic wool. And I have actually knit with Lopi before, and it is really nice. Um, grab a new color. Um, the Patton's uh, Roving is actually very similar to it. It doesn't have the same texture and feel to it. Um, it's actually a lot softer. Um, I like the Lopi. I like the feel of the Lopi. Um, but this is what's available. Um, so yeah. So that is what her sweater is going to be knit out of. Um, I tried to follow the colors as close as I could. So you guys will see as this is knit up. Um, the only, the main difference I'm doing with it is, um, instead of black as the background, I'm doing this lovely, lovely purple color, um, kind of almost a royal purple, um, because Rose picked this up and fell in love with this color, so I figured why not? Uh, so yeah. I have to get into my needle stash and see if I even have the needle sizes to do this, because otherwise there will need to be an order. I already have an order for needles on the way. I needed new ones because, well, as most of you noticed last week, my one of my uh, diacrafts it broke again. So it's I'm never going to be able to fix it, unfortunately. Um, my father, who I love dearly, hi dad, hi mom, because I know mom's watching, um, said he's going to attempt to make me a new one. My father is an absolutely fabulous woodworker. Um, and has actually made a lot of uh, furniture and whatnot. And he has made a lot of small items as well. Um, I have jewelry boxes. I have a drum made by him. Um, so he's going to attempt to make me a new one when they get home in the spring. So we'll see. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't. And it's sad, but what can you do? Um, so I ordered a new set of uh, 2.25 needles along with a set of twos and I think though I think I only ordered the two sizes I don't remember yes I only ordered the two sizes because they had their uh, beading hooks on sale so I ordered two of those um, because I love to bead things and beading hooks make things so much easier um, Arg, train of thought I get my needles, I get Haya Haya's um, from a place called Acme Fibers and I love them. They're Canadian. They're the 
cost of the needles is relatively it's on par with everybody else it was 11.50 i think or 10.50 uh, each for the the needles and uh or for the high highs which is fairly standard um and they do shipping through regular mail so it means what amounts to four needles four sets of needles um cost me like 250 or something or buck 50 in shipping because it's stamps takes a little longer to get to you but it costs less than the tax it means if i only need one needle i can order one needle and not have to worry about it because you know there's not 11 dollars in shipping um now if you order more obviously the tax goes up the more you order but yeah for a couple of pairs of needles they stick it in a padded envelope I am okay with this. Um, it means there's no tracking, but whatever. Uh, it means I don't have to drive. A day. It's cheaper for me to do that, even if they get lost and I have to reorder. Um, I, they've never lost them, and honestly, Canada Post, in all of my years, has lost very few things of mine. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. I'm back at work tomorrow. More training. So I started my new job last week. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the new town. And there are pictures. There will be more. Um, actually, I haven't posted any of them because I've been taking them with my big camera. Um, so there will be pictures uh, of the town. So I will, I will show people around and I'll do a quick spin round of my house because I love my my new house um once everything behind me is not still in a mess it's not as much of a mess as it was but it's still a mess uh yeah so yeah I'm gonna go because my laundry's done and I need to hang it to dry so I will see you all t uh next week and yeah, I'm not going to start up any new um, knit-alongs or anything like that right now. Um, but there will be some coming up. There's definitely going to be one for March because that's my birthday month and I can knit if I want to. <laughs> so stay tuned. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all. So I will see you guys later. Definitely send me a message, whatever. I am trying to work through all the messages in my inbox on RAV. Hi. Um, and I know I have some in there from December and I am really sorry. I will try and get to the last of them tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I am so behind on a lot of things it's not even funny anymore okay it wasn't funny to start with but it's really not funny now um but yeah on that note i'm going bye